April 21st. Well, I didn't learn the first day that I was working with Kurt. Dude, this Paul, job, are you okay? This job sucks, man. <laughs> you quit? Yeah, this is my last day. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, look at him. So I want to try it again. I have to take and start wearing my Stenson or Stenson. He'll take it away from me. Why? Because he gave it to me. He said it was 350 bucks. And he said that hat is 350 dollars. If I don't wear it, he's won't take it. He's gonna try to take it three times. What the hell's it made of? I don't know. Gold, I guess. That's a gold band. I don't know why. I got. I can't cuss no more. I can't. I talk too much. Too. Kurt talks too much and he curses too much. So, so anyway, so I didn't learn the first time that I was working with him, so I decided to come back and volunteer some more of my time. Right. I lost a pound and a half the last time I did it, and then I gained it back yesterday because I went out to have like a whole shitload of wings right, and Long Island iced yeah. teas. What are we doing today? Taking that tree, that tree, that tree, and those two look up. We're cleaning out the house of trees? Right. Why? Because the guy don't want them. He doesn't want them? Nope. Who's the guy? His name's Richard. Oh, so he's got, what's he gonna do? He's gonna redo right. this. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the trees? Uh, put them at your house. Okay. Sylvester. <laughs> two Ligustrums. Oh, Ligustrums. Ligustrums. Yeah, we gotta trim them up. They didn't get the water for a while because he cut the irrigation off. Uh, oh, so we're digging that out. What? How are you gonna dig that out with the backhoe? Yeah. I thought you have a spade truck. I can't come in here in Terry's yard. Oh, okay. He don't want it in here, he said it's okay. And he doesn't want those trees either? No, uh, we're digging these two out, they're called ribbon palms. Uh-huh. These are probably about 350, 400 bucks a piece. Oh, really? Yeah, and here comes your take your remote. No, that's not my uh, drone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so Kurt's got a company that's called We Move Trees. And apparently this uh, gentleman that owns his house, uh, he wants those ligustrums moved, that palm. And those big palms right there. So uh, here I am again today working. I'm gonna start taking out some trees. Okay, so I already raked all the crap out of here, so he can reuse it later. Be careful with this shovel here. You want to, you want to use a new one because you're a doctor. <laughs> I don't want you to bleed. Hey, I'm a doctor. I should pay somebody else to do this. This is absolutely true. I don't know why you're here. Well, because I'm trying to lose my weight. Glasses on because I might start crying because I'm so happy you're here. All right. Look. Digging. This one right here. Yeah. We're gonna to try to dig it right about, right about there. And right. just go down one time, all the way around. You can do that other one straight down if okay. you can, without breaking. So it what out. are we gonna call this video? How to replant a ligustrum? How to take ligustrum trees to Paul's house. I had a sawzall. I would go around it. Uh huh. But Jimmy took my sawzall. Oh, you? But then? No, it was his sawzall. But he took it. You put a long blade on. I it. got one. In your truck? Not with me. You didn't tell me to bring it. Well, we didn't know. One. All right, I'm getting to work. Just chop it about that far out. Okay, all foot. the way around. Foot, yeah. Okay. We get some root ball. Lids. <laughs> How do you come to a customer's house and ask him to borrow shit? That's right. He's my friend. You just met him three weeks ago. Yeah, now we're friends. Now we're friends. <laughs> He's the one that volunteered. Uh, government's maintaining this, as you can see, keeping us from being burnt up by the sun. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I don't know if Jesus had anything to do with it. So, what do you call those trails? Uh, chemical trails. <laughs> Chem trails. Chem trails. <laughs> Take that. Some scraps over there by the tree. Take what? Straps over by the tree and wrap one around it and hook the other one to it. I'll show you when I get there. Matter of fact, I'll just go over there now because I need to rest. <laughs> we didn't even unload yet and we're taking a break. Right? Uh, we gotta take this stuff out of the bucket. I'll do. So what'd you say? How deep are the roots in this tree? About a foot. A That's bit more than a foot. Oh, so that's why you uh, you, you dig her. Ridiculous. Say that again. This can't work with this cowboy hat on. It's stupid. Oh, you can't work with the hat on, huh? No. Too bad. It was Jimmy's to gonna be pissed off. You're gonna take it off. He's gonna take it away from me. Oh, so then you just lift it up with the bucket. Right here, and you're gonna hook it. To okay. Where do you think, Rich? 
put it in the back of your truck? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Actually, that's the one you did. I did the other one. Can you go higher? Go. Okay, that's it. You got another inch over here. Go ahead. You gotta swing it around so we have enough room to put the other Okay, that's one. Hey, you changed hats. You got the strap? Uh, right there. Oh, oh, the. Where is it? I don't know where it is. One strap. You got a dub? I think so. Alright. You're really doing a good job. Uh, what the hell? That meant you were lying. Yeah, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I know the feeling. You got water? I don't have shit. Got beer? I don't have shit. Man, we need to bring a cooler. Yeah. My brother told me that I should sell all this stuff. I said, well, I do sell trees. Well, you run your mouth too much and tell them how much it's worth. I said, well, you want me to lie to them? No, it ain't worth nothing. Give it to me. Paul and I are getting, <coughs> I think, 2,000, 1,200, $3,200 worth of Everglade bombs. We're getting a uh, $250 Sylvester, maybe $300, and then they got to pay me to plant it, or they can just come and get it. And then two silk palms over there, I figure they're at least 400 bucks a piece. And Paul is a dentist working for me, so. Working? When you work, you get paid, right? Yeah, you're getting paid oh, by I'm trees. I'm getting paid by trees, that's right. Damn okay. right. right. <laughs> How am I going to pay you? He's giving me trees. I ain't giving you paper, I'm giving you trees. What's better? You well, want paper? You can or make trees? a lot of paper out of those trees. Yeah. Oh, no, not that kind of trees. I want you guys, some people, we can have it. <laughs> Tell them it's growing on the roof and they need to get rid of it. Nobody's there. Let's just take it. <laughs> yeah, they are there in the garage. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. He didn't know you're standing there. <laughs> yeah, we do. Midnight distributors. Pick out the tree you want, give me a call, tell me where it's at, and we'll have that tree. It takes five minutes to get it, but uh, 35 to 40 minutes to tie it up. We have to go down the street and tie it up because they might catch us. That tree is right about here. Hey, buddy, let me tell you about it. This thing's got thorns. 
You get stuck with it. Oh, my finger's still numb uh, from the last time. I know you can die from blood poisoning. Back out a little bit. Too close. Too late. Oh, brother, you can do it. Too. I just got stuck. You want to tie it up? Let's tie it up. Stop. Let's show them how the proper way to do it. Okay, now, it's really going to be hard now. Uh, I don't want to go. Oh, that's a long ass rope. Can we like cut it in half or you know? You can cut it. You got a knife? Yeah. We're not being filmed, are we? Nope. Good grief. I got a lighter where we can burn the end where it won't. Out. You talk so much that you even talk when I'm not around. I'm saying we can cut the end. I'm telling the people oh. Oh. we're going to cut the end and I'm going to burn it with the lighter so it don't fray out. Oh, oh shit. Never trust the dentist with a knife. Look, he's trying to kill me. Paul Zott did this. You see that scar? It's the last tree we moved right there. See it? Cutting it like that at me. Big <laughs> Right here, buddy. Apparently, this one has more roots than we thought. Say that again? Let me show you something. What? I'm just going to show you something, all right? We need to get out of here. It's making too big of a mess. I don't want him to be mad at me. All right, what? The proper way is to hook it up to my truck uh, and take off. <laughs> there you go again. Let me put my shoes on. No? See, that was my idea. Hook it up to the truck and haul ass. Moving? Ball moving or just... I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look. No, just the tree. Ball's not moving. Yeah, let's put him to work. I'm tired. They don't pay me enough for this shit. What? Yeah, you keep digging there, tough guy. I want to wait. Then we'll put them towards the back later. Put that one towards the front. You gotta, you gotta put it towards the back. Then put it wherever the hell you want. I don't care. I've done this before. We might have to rehook it to the longer strap. I'm gonna lay out the mat. Put the bed on the wheel. Might have to lay it on the ground to get it.
customer asked us, could we at least clean some of this mess up? We didn't do all that over there, but just these little bit of leaves. Paul wanted to sweep it all up. I said the bus driver pulled five foot over so you wouldn't scratch his bus. Oh damn. Look at that. Look what you did in my truck. I didn't do that. Bitch. You wouldn't let me tie it up. Catch my breath. Sucker. Put that cigarette up. Just it. Let me take my breath. Now what are you doing? I'm getting that one little limb right there. That's it. That's what we... Hey, I didn't knock anybody over. Yeah, you did. There's about three kids on bicycles scrambling to get them all the way. You didn't even see them. You were going to the other side. It's all right. Thank God he didn't get hurt. I was praying the whole time for it. Ready? Yeah, man. So apparently we decided to pull over a little bit here because uh, he thought that my uh, tree was sticking out a little bit too much and uh, people were scrambling out of my way, but hell, I kept on rolling. Kurt talks so much, he's even talking to the crossing guard. Look at that. I tell him he talks too much all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I think she started. She's waving Turn to everybody. To Let's see. Yeah, look at that. She's just waving everybody. She's worse than Kurt. Ah, uh, see, now there's a hole I'm glad I didn't have to dig. Here we are, we found a new home for the tree at my house, but uh, check out what's in the hole. Go ahead, look at this. There is more glass in here. Go ahead, scoop it up. There was like some big piece of glass or something. Well, you may get it out of like there? a big bottle or something. Go ahead, do, one, back, do another scoop. Maybe this is an old landfill. An old landfill. <laughs> that should be good enough. There's bottles. There's like more glass. There's more? That's good enough. We can drop right. the tree. They're all the same. They're all... Yeah, they're baby bottles. I think. Is it... baby What's this? I don't know. That's an olive jar, I guess. An olive jar. I wonder if it says anything on them. No. I was gonna say I wanna rinse it and see if any if it says anything, but that hole had glass, this hole has bricks. <laughs> No, it won't fit. Oh, maybe. Oh, here's a, a bigger one. <laughs> oh, shit. There's this. Map.
Well, at least the trees are looking nice. 